Question 11, Part A. Evaluate the cube root of 234.6 divided by 23.1 times 3.8, correct to three significant figures. Now, when you put that into your calculator, you should get the result 1.3 seven seven etc. Now you want three significant figures, so you want these first three here. So we have to add one of that, giving the result of one point three eight. This one factorizing, we need to multiply the two and the minus fifteen together and say what two numbers multiply together to give me minus thirty and add together to give me the middle one minus seven. Now clear it's going to be minus ten and three. And that's how we split this middle term up here. That becomes 2x squared minus 10x plus 3x minus 15. Splitting it down the middle, we get 2x outside of x minus 5 plus 3 outside of x minus 5. And that becomes 2x plus 3 times x minus 5, because x minus 5 is common to both. Next one, absolute value. Now 2x minus 1 is greater than 5, or 2x minus 1 is less than minus 5. So 2x is greater than 6, x, x is greater than 3, 2x is less than minus 4, x less than minus 2. Okay. I should have said uh, question 1 is worth, A is worth 1 mark and all the others are worth 2. Now this factorising the top you get y minus 4, y plus 4 and this is 2 outside of y minus 4. These guys go out and you get y plus 4 over 2. In E that becomes to the seventh, equating these powers, 3x plus 1 equals 7, 3x equals 6, x equals 2. Here, what's the negative? So that's minus 2x is less than or equal to 8. Now, when we divide both sides by a negative, when it's the quality, we change the inequality sign around, so it becomes x is greater than or equal to minus 4. G, rationalising by multiplying by the conjugate, that's root 7 plus root 5 over root 7 plus root 5. Let's put the 6 out the front. And this becomes 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2, and 2 into 6 goes 3. So it's 3 outside of root 7 plus root 5. And finally, this one, taking the 6x across, we get x outside of x minus 6 equals 0. Therefore, x will be equal to 0, or x will be equal to 6.